Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com today to get going with a, another shave review video. It is a new line for our store, the Musgo Real. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start from here. I have already applied some of the secret ingredient Parasso Pre-Shave product. Um, and this will be my first time using the Musgo Real. I, I called it Musgo for the longest time like a total idiot. And I've seen the official pronunciation. And so now I will sound cool by calling it Musgo Real. But seriously, um, this is a new line of products for the Razor Emporium store. It actually was on my list of products I've always wanted to pick up for the, for the company for a long time. <laughs> and it seemed as though uh, there was always another line that came first and uh, I finally just said, we're bringing it on, we're getting it. So here we are. This is the classic scent, which has some warm notes of bergamot and um, woody kind of sandalwood, vetiver, musk. It's very nice, very masculine. I'm going to show you making a lather. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit in my brush. Just start working it around. So you can see in real time, the lather ability. Ah, not too bad, pretty easy. It is making a very nice lather. I want to make sure I'm nice and hydrated. Got it all looking good. Nice whipped cream consistency. The scent is very nice. It is a very, I don't know, it reminds me of, <laughs> it reminds me of grandfather or I thought of something funny. I can't take credit for this. It reminds me of that old guy at church that has uh, hair grown out of his ears. <laughs> but I, I'm serious, but you know, that's kind of sometimes the smell I'm going for. I'm going for that super old school masculine smell. And Musgo Real is very old school. It has been around since 1887. It was founded by a guy named Ferdinand Klaus in Porto, Portugal. And so they put the two words together, the last name Klaus and Porto. So it's Klaus Porto is actually the company's name. And then Musgo, Musgo Real, Musgo Real, is their line of, of um, grooming products for men. So fragrances and shaving products and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, I'm liking the lather. I want to get started here um, with our shave. It's not super, super strong a smell, but it's very, very nice. Um, okay, what are we doing today? We have a couple razors here that are new entries to our best beginner kind of razor list. So we have the Parker 87. We've got a Edwin Jagger 316 which has been a very popular razor as of its release, and the Rex Envoy, <laughs> which has been incredibly popular as well. People are just loving this, this Envoy razor. So I'm just gonna kind of shave with each one a little bit and kind of compare and contrast. Obviously there is a price difference. You know, the Parker is kind of its own category, very budget friendly. The 316 and the uh, Rex Envoy are both in the same general price point range. So let's start with 87. And this has a brand new Permasharp blade loaded. Nice. I would call it medium aggressive. It's, it's not super aggressive. It's not super mild. Somewhere in the middle. Very 
a very, very close, comfortable shave. It's got that real audible feedback that you experience on a butterfly razor. I always have to remember to use both sides of my double-edged razor. I know I always like to just use one. Okay, I could keep on going with that, but I'm gonna stop and we're gonna switch over now to the 316. Very similar. I would probably say the 316 is just a hair more forgiving kind of feel, more, more smooth kind of forgiving. The 316 is stainless steel. This is the knurled handle version. We've sold a ton of these since we picked them up when they first came out. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. It's, it's very much like the regular Edwin Jagger, but it, I think maybe just a hair more aggressive. But the, uh, the benefit is that it's all stainless steel. Obviously the Parker is gonna be, I think the Parker actually has a fair amount of brass parts on here. I think, this, I think the center bar is zinc, but I think the handle and the guard and doors are all brass, and then it's all been chrome plated. This is made in India, this is made in England, and this is made in the United States. Yeah, well I could keep on going with that, but I obviously am running out of hair, and I still have one more razor to go, so we'll switch over to the Envoy. Very comparable to the other two. I would actually say just a hair milder than the um, either of those. Um, I'd probably actually say the most aggressive of, or closest of all of them would be the Parker, and then this would be in the middle, and then the Envoy's just slightly below that. But they're, they're, we're talking shades of gray here, people. If you were to double blind test with these, I don't know if you'd notice a huge difference. Very, very close. So there is quite a big difference when it comes to the way these razors are made. I don't think that ends up affecting the shave, but if you're someone who cares about quality or you wanna pass the razor down, or you are concerned if you drop it, is it gonna snap <laughs> kind of a thing? Well, then it, maybe it does. So the, again, the Parker is gonna have a, I believe it's a zinc cast center bar, and it's gonna have stamp brass um, parts for the rest of the components, uh, turned brass handle, knurled, all chrome plated. So a combination between casting and stamping um, and all chrome plated. The 316 is gonna be kind of similar, but it's stainless steel. It's, it's a cast um, head, and then it's a turned handle, I believe. Yeah, it's turned. And then um, it's not been plated at all. It's just raw stainless steel. I think, if anything, it's been bead blasted. That's, that's my guess on the finish there. A very fine glass bead blast finish. Maybe tumbled, but I, I think blasted. And then um, the Rex, like it's being directly of, it's machined at a billet, um, both the head and the handle, um, CNC mill, CNC lathe, knurled, and then um, we just do some light tumbling and then laser engraved for the logo and stuff. If you drop the Parker, you could potentially snap something. I don't think you'd have to worry about that with either Edwin Jagger or the Rex.
Yeah, the Parker is kind of nice, especially for beginners. The, the price point is really nice, and also it's a butterfly razor, so, you know, for changing blades, it does bode a little bit easier, a little more neat. <laughs> it's it's quick, to, quick to do that. The shave product, the um, Musgo Real, performed really nice. I'm really liking the scent. It reminds me of kind of the Parasso Green, kind of in that same vein, but it's not so eucalyptus menthol-y. I've had people tell me that Parasso reminds them of like medicine, like cough syrup kind of a thing. It doesn't have that. It has more of the masculine kind of tone. I think if you mix the, the red and the green together and you drop the menthol, that's kind of where this is. Um, one interesting note about the Musgo Real is that it actually is a lanolin based product. So if you're someone who likes lanolin, which is a sheep byproduct, sheep fur byproduct, um, you'll like this. It's really good on your skin. If you have sensitive skin, it's also really great, um, especially with repeated use, long-term use. I think you're really going to notice your skin being more soft and supple. Uh, and if you're someone who's vegan or don't like animal products, then this is not for you. I think it's important to note. I personally like lanolin. One of my favorite products that I used a long time ago quite often was the Mitchell's Wool Fat. Um, and this is, as a cream, I think this is much easier to make a lather with versus a soap. So if that's been a concern of yours, if you are one of these people who struggle with Mitchell's Wool Fat, or if you don't like that there's no scent to it and you wanted something else with the lanolin benefit, bam, Musgo Real. So that is that. The razors all performed great. I didn't really have a strong preference of one or the other. The Parker was just a tiny bit aggressive for my, my, my flavor. I was feeling a little bit more comfortable, I guess, with the 316 of the uh, Rex. Uh, probably a little bit biased there, but I, I, I like the 316 a lot. We, we sell a ton of them and it's a great razor. I'm really happy to see that Edwin Jagger has produced a nice stainless steel razor. Um, for the market, they have different handles with that one. This is the most popular one because it's got the neural, and I think this is all stainless steel. Whereas, if I'm not mistaken, the colored handle ones are red and the blue. Um, I think those are actually anodized aluminum handles, so they're a little bit lighter. I like the neural one, that's definitely the most popular for us on our website. So, I'm finishing up now with my classic Parasso Aftershave Balm, a product I recommend. To everyone who comes by and talks to me, <laughs> but seriously, it's a great product. Uh, yeah, very happy, very easy, light, you know, fun shave, good, good smell product. Musgo Real, uh, check it out. There's many other scents, so that's all I got. Uh, if you've tried Musgo, if you uh, have seen it around but always wanted to try it, or if you've tried one of these guys, uh, the Envoy, the 316, or the 87, let me know in the comments below, and if you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this, our official Razor Emporium Black and Blue t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with all of your friends, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.